Capacities Tutorial for Beginners Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Capacities. Capacities offers an innovative and object-based note-taking experience acting as a studio for your mind. It provides a comprehensive platform for storing all your thoughts and ideas, creating a personalized knowledge management system. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Capacities, the first step is to create an account. To begin the sign-up process, visit the official website of Capacities. Once you are on the homepage, scroll down until you find the Get Started Now button. Click on it or just click on the Register button at the top right and you will be redirected to the registration page. On the registration page, enter your email address and choose a strong password for your account. Once you have filled in the required information, click on the Register button to proceed. After registering, Capacities will guide you through the process of setting up your account. Follow the on-screen prompts to provide any necessary additional information and configure your account settings. One crucial step before you can fully access your account is to verify your email address. You won't be able to move forward until you complete this step. Check your email inbox and look for an email sent by Capacities. Open the email and follow the instructions to verify your email address. Once you have successfully verified your email, you will be directed to the dashboard. This is where you can access and utilize the various features and functionalities offered by Capacities to meet your needs. Once you access the dashboard's homepage, you'll notice that it is designed to be simple and user-friendly. The left-hand side of the dashboard contains a left panel where you can find important options and features. One prominent option in the left panel is Spaces. Spaces serve as the primary units for organizing content within Capacities. Each space corresponds to a specific topic or uses case that you want to utilize Capacity for. By clicking on the Spaces option located at the top left side of the homepage, you can view and manage your existing spaces. Additionally, you can create a new space by clicking on the plus new button. By clicking on the drop down menu button next to your space, you can expand the menu to display all the spaces you have created, providing quick access to each one. At the bottom of the left panel, you will find other options available to you. These options include settings for managing your account, such as general settings, language preferences, date and time settings, subscription and billing information, backup options, and integration settings for platforms like email input, Twitter, Telegram, and WhatsApp. There's also a button to switch between dark and light mode for your preferred visual theme, shortcuts to access commonly used features, Capacities Academy for learning resources, and a section dedicated to your account details. If you prefer a more spacious view of the dashboard, you can hide the left panel by clicking on the menu icon located at the top left side of the screen. This allows you to focus on the main content area without the sidebar occupying the space. Now, let's see how to create a new space. To create a new space within Capacities, follow these steps. First, ensure that you are on the home page of the dashboard. Once you are there, locate and click on the plus new button. This action will trigger a pop-up window to appear, prompting you to provide details for the new space. In the pop-up window, you have two options for identifying your space, using a descriptive name or selecting an icon. If you prefer a descriptive name, simply enter it in the name field provided. Choose a name that accurately represents the topic or purpose of your space. Alternatively, if you wish to use an icon instead of a name, click on the Update Icon button. This action will display a collection of emojis and icons for you to choose from. Select the emoji or icon that best suits your space and helps you recognize it more easily. Once you have either entered a name or chosen an icon for your space, the final step is to click the Create Space button. By clicking on this button, you will create a new space within Capacities. After creating the space, you will be able to see it listed under the Spaces tab in the left menu of the dashboard. This allows for easy access and management of your spaces within Capacities. Next, let's see how to add a new page in Capacities. To add a new page within a space in Capacities, follow these simple steps. First, click on the drop-down menu next to the Spaces option. This action will expand the menu, displaying all the spaces you have created. Choose the specific space where you want to add a new page by clicking on it you will be redirected to the selected page where you can create and manage content. To create a new page, locate and click on the plus new content button within the chosen space. This action will reveal a drop-down menu with different content options. Select the page option, which is typically the first option in the menu. By clicking on page, you will create a new page within the selected space. Once the new page is created, enter a suitable title for the page in the designated title field. If desired, you can also add tags to further categorize and organize your content. 
To add tags, click on the Tags button and enter keywords that are relevant to the page you have created. Furthermore, you have the option to customize the page by adding an icon, description, and cover image, and adjusting the layout. To access these customization options, hover over the title of your page. Upon hovering, you will see these additional options appear, allowing you to add an icon, provide a description, add a cover image, and modify the layout to a wide format. Adding an icon is as simple as clicking on the Add Icon option. This will open up a pop-up window containing a selection of emojis and icons for you to choose from. Select the icon that best represents your page. To add a description to your page, hover over the title and click on the Add Description option. This will reveal a field where you can enter a description that provides additional context or information about the page's content. To include a cover image, click on the Add Cover Image button. A pop-up window will appear offering various options for adding an image. You can upload an image from your computer, provide a link to an image, or choose from images available in the Unsplash database. Select the preferred option to add a visually appealing cover image to your page. Furthermore, you have the ability to change the layout of your page. You can switch between the normal layout and the wide layout to suit your visual preferences or accommodate different types of content. Once you have set up the name, description, and cover image for your page, the next step is to add content. To do this, simply click on the blank area of the page and start typing or adding relevant content. To add more lines or points, click on the plus icon, allowing you to expand and structure your content. You can also customize the text within your page. By selecting the desired text, a formatting bar will appear, providing options to make the text bold, italicize it, adjust indentations, and more. This allows you to customize the appearance and formatting of your text-based content within the page. By following these steps, you can create a new page in Capacities and enrich it with icons, descriptions, cover images, and well-structured content while also customizing the text formatting to create visually appealing and engaging pages. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Capacities. You can sign up using the first link in the description. I appreciate that, thank you. We hope this video provided you with a clear understanding of the platform's capabilities and how to make the most out of its features. With Capacities, you now have a powerful tool to organize your thoughts, ideas, and digital content in a seamless and efficient manner. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.